here we are with summertime rendering episode 5 and yeah last episode we got more questions basically so it seems like that the that there are like origins of the doppelganger like some that started it all and that maybe have like a real form and they just copy the appearance of someone else that fits their needs basically so i guess that will be interesting to see how that turns out and what's what and what's going on and i wonder is the mio now dead dead or just incapacitated right um so yeah i guess we will find out but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode and here we go again shoots her head off Nare sushi. <clears throat> Talking about some food while killing someone. Dude's arm is broken. <clears throat> so she just disappeared? Oh, it's a shadow literally moving. Oh, so she's not dead. Losing the head is not enough. <clears throat> Shoot the shadow. Is that how you kill him? You kill the shadow? Can you knife the shadow on the ground, maybe? Yes, we have. Multiple times. Hello. You said that before. She is a weird one, it seems like. Oh, the knife too. Nagumo. <clears throat> she came to save him. So... She came to save him, so what did what does she know? Is this the whole reason why she came to the to this island? Because she knows that he would come here and that is that something is up? Or did she find out while she was on this island, maybe? That's what I'm wondering right now. <clears throat> and how much does she know, right? And he reacted weird to her last name, which I can't pronounce and don't remember right now. Something with R. Ryu something, I think. So, did we heard that name before? Because he reacted like as if he knows the name. But I can't recall right now if we know that name or not. Hmm. Interesting. But hey, we know that we can kill the shadows now by... Killing the shadow, literally. But I wonder if she's dead for good or if she just like dispersed and is somewhere else now. Hmm. Because if there are just two origins of the shadows, like her and the boy that is like Shinpei, then we just have to kill him and then everything would be fine, right? But I mean, there's clearly way more, so what's gonna happen now? When will he die the next time to restart again? Shadow? She can tell? Oh, that's her. But she broke her arm. Or is this maybe the other one? He took just the form of her?
Yeah, right? The glasses? Wait, what? I have to rewatch that. Eaten. So they eat them when they do this? Which circumstances? Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> so how many shadows are there? But I'm confused now. There's another one. Novelist? Oh, <clears throat> did she wrote a book, Swamp Man? Uber. <clears throat> so if he dies again, he maybe could just confront her at the beginning, right? Maybe. Who is real? Who is fake? What? I mean, I guess he has to die, right? Because he has to travel back in time because this is already fucked up. In her head or neck? What is that? Looks like a black slender man with four, three arms and... It's hovering. The hour of nine. So I guess he has to die now. So maybe there's still a limited amount of shadows, a fixed amount of them? I don't know. He is still alive? Dang. Precise with a shotgun. One bullet.
I mean, like literally, what can they do at this point, right? Or he, without making a flash, she can tell what's gonna happen. Dude, if I would have been Shinpei, I would have grabbed the shotgun and would have shot myself <laughs> to restart. <laughs> oh. So maybe he can control time all the time? Mm-hmm. What? <clears throat> Cut the power. Is he like, kill me? That would be... Is an arm getting cut off? She dies? She gets killed? She got pulverized! What is this? The big ass shadow? So this is basically a countdown of three days. Is this a mother, maybe? What? Looks... Yep. Looks cool. And everyone gets whooped. Whoop, 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 whoop. Dude, this is so crazy. He has a go, <laughs> of course. Oh. 
Oh yeah, we didn't see, saw the hunter since the ep first episode. This reminds me a little bit of Princess and Mononoke. What the fuck? Dude, this anime is crazy, man. Pain? Okay, she likes it. Yeah, kill him. Say sorry, take the gun and kill him. Oh. Oh, the fire is still burning. Kill me. Come on, say it. Yes, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Come on, do it. Do it. Let's go. I mean, what else? You have no better option, right? Oh, she's coming out. Oh, oh. now shoot, shoot him, kill him. <laughs> You have no other choice, dude. You will die anyway, so just do it. You have nothing to lose. <laughs> Here we go again. Fly me to the moon. Oh, it's like a big hand reaching out. How did he get the eye, right? But why Mio, right? Why not protect everyone? Why Mio? <clears throat> she knows that everyone's dying. Now we're here. I feel like every time he responds, maybe he gets a bit closer, right? 
the first time he respawned at the on the ferry. The second time he he spawned when he came off the ferry. Now he spawns on the way to his house. Dude, yeah, this must be like. <clears throat> I mean, I guess he knows, or I mean, I guess he knows that that he can respawn, right? But I mean, this must still be after seeing that shit. It still must hit hard, right? He also got some information about how the shadows work, right? Which I have to rewatch because I it was confusing. Exactly. <clears throat> From what it seems like so there's only so many then everything is over <laughs> but he still has like two days right three days but i mean one day two days like two nights right mm -hmm. and the third night is when everything happens Dead ass. <laughs> and that's when she the shadow wakes up basically. So is this her shadow? It just sticks around? What a crazy episode. Let me know what you think, but damn man, I rewatched the episode now, like certain parts of it. I feel like I still missed something. I I, I skipped through it and wanted to find like one part that I at around the time where I think I was like, I missed something, but I couldn't find it, so I just keep going. Um, but yeah, the part with the with the how you can see what is a shadow and what isn't sounded very confusing when I was watching it in, watching it in the reaction, but now rewatching it, it's very simple. It's basic. All she said basically basically is all that matters is the shadow. If the shadow is moving and tries to avoid you. When you would otherwise step on it or something, then you know it's the shadow, obviously, right? Because the shadow is minding his own business, basically. Um, but everything above the shadow is basically just like a lump of flesh and nothing, right? Um, but she could still tell that the shadow was coming before she we saw who that shadow is, right? So how did she know that there was a shadow coming, right? You can only realize what is a shadow and what isn't if you would, like, interact with the shadow, right? <clears throat> but she, like could tell before, right? So, that's interesting. So the only way, basically, to tell what is a shadow and what isn't is to look at the shadow and see if it acts weird, right? Um, Something I also was wondering about is what the girl meant, the one, when she said, this, is, uh, this isn't why I dirtied my hand. I think she said. Maybe I can quickly check again. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Um, she said, This isn't why I dirtied my hand. So was she also a shadow? But why would she cry if she was a shadow? I don't know. That's. Whoops. That's kind of weird. Um, why she said that? I don't know what she meant. Maybe we will, we will find out at some point. <clears throat> Maybe she was working with the shadows. Maybe, I don't know. Um, maybe maybe she had contact with the shadows and the shadows are like, you help us and we will 
uh, we will promise you that your friends stay fine, that we won't do anything to them, and they basically lied. Something that also was interesting is we saw, like, different people on the island, right? We saw the hunter, and we saw the father uh, of the bistro and that stuff. And we also saw this weird professor-looking dude uh, looking out of the window, and behind him was a shadow on a wheelchair. That seemed interesting. Why is he keeping a shadow? Maybe it wasn't a shadow. Maybe it looked like a person, but turned into a shadow. So if we see the professor and he has someone on a wheelchair then and that isn't a shadow, then we can assume that the person in the wheelchair is probably a shadow, right? So maybe maybe that's a bit of foreshadowing. And I mean, yeah, basically my theory that there's like only a fixed amount, a set amount of shadows and that there is like an origin of shadows that have like a real form is, I guess, maybe out of the window. I don't know. Um, so if they make copies of someone, that basically means does that basically means that there's another shadow. So they just make new ones. It's basically like breeding new beings. Basically, is that how it works? Or that's like the stuff that is like a bit unclear for me. Is if they make a copy of someone, is that basically a new shadow? right that can change forms that can become like the shadowy shadowy figure or whatever um or is there really just like a set amount of these shadowy figures that do that stuff um that's something i'm wondering about now um because if they can just make new shadows and the shadows can become these shadowy figures then yeah there can be infinite amounts of them right depending on how many they kill and whatever and how many new shadows they make um so my th idea of there are origins maybe of shadows is kind of out of the window um and yeah it also seemed like that nagamuro i think was her name she's the novelist right she made the book swamp man or whatever it was called that had basically the same thing going on right with people that are like duplicates of others um and it seemed like she could see the future because she saw in a vision, basically, it seemed like that she was being shot at by a shotgun. And because of that, instead of her head being shot away, she dodged it and just got like strafe bullets and got hit in the neck. Um, interesting if that's what's happening. Uh, it's ha well, if, that, dip, 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 if that's what's happening. And it also seems like she knows that she has to protect Shinpei somehow. Is that maybe her sister that told her that somehow? Who is her sister right um and yeah want to know more about her right how does she know this thing who told her that right interesting can't wait to find out more about her um and also interesting how the whole time mechanic works that it's basically that he all that i don't know it progresses his respawn point right it, it goes forward he can respawn as, at the same point two times <coughs> Is the question that I'm wondering is, is it progressing with each death? So upon death it moves forward, or maybe it progresses with how much time he spends before he dies, right? So if he spawns and dies again, then maybe he spawns pretty much at the same location because not much time has progressed. But maybe if he dies, even if he just respawned, then maybe it jumps another step right so that's what i'm wondering is like how does the progression system of his respawns work is it like based on if he dies or is it based on how much time he spent until he dies and so yeah but i mean it can't get i mean technically um it must be on death right because otherwise it becomes kind of pointless right now because there is a set time limit now, right? He has three days, and then shit goes down and everything ends, basically. And the time with each, when he dies, now becomes shorter. So the time from where he is now, where he respawned now, to the inevitable end is shorter than it was before, right? So that would mean that the, if it's based on time, then the jumps that it progresses should become shorter and shorter and shorter and it should be smaller jumps because there's only so much time right because with each time it becomes less time before the end right if you i'm 
I'm so bad at explaining so certain things. Um, so I guess it's based on death, right? And that makes the most sense. Uh, but yeah, interesting. And yeah, we found out that the eye is basically from the mother. How you can get the eye from her and give it to Jim, uh, Shinpei. Interesting. I don't know how that works. But yeah, I guess we will maybe find out. And yeah, the mother is basically a kid. Probably some thousand year old, eight years old looking like girl, from what it seems like. Um, and it seems like I was maybe, I had maybe like the idea that she maybe wouldn't like it if all the people die. But she's like, oh yeah, that was good. So I guess she wants the people dead for whatever reason. I guess we have to find out what that is all about. But I mean, we are just at episode 5 and the anime is like 25 episodes long, I think. So, yeah. Time will tell, I guess. But yeah, interesting episode. Talking lots again. And I would say, can't wait for the next episode to see what happens. So yeah, if you like what you see or what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.